welcome to my channel uh, today uh, this is a part 4 of the series where we are doing flight app today uh, the main uh, topics of this uh, tutorial will be inherited widget and integrating our app with firestore which is a database service from firebase okay so um, to create a first of all i will explain you how why inherited widget is used and why it is beneficial plus i will first create a problem statement for you why uh, we are we have to use inherited widget in which scenarios we have to use so first let me give you a problem statement uh, can you see here we have uh, boston selected as from location and new york selected as to location now when we click on search we have these two here but these both are static content right i can uh, tell you how uh, because we have directly hard coded this these values here in this screen flight list screen now what we need to do is we need to take these two values from main dot dart main home screen okay so let's uh, do it in a normal way what we we uh, what generally the scenario will be how it can be done so um when i click on this search icon okay so i should pass in two variables one will be from location and second will be to location okay so what is what is this from location how we can get it uh, this value we can get from uh, the pop-up menu which is selected yeah so we have a locations array and we also have selected location index so this will give us the string value of boston because right now this value is selected okay and for two location as you know we have created a text editing controller and we have assigned first location out of this and this location is new york now first of all we will have to uh, take this text editing controller out and we have to assign it to a variable okay so i am taking it out out of this we will declare here so it's a final search field controller okay so this will directly go to and replace this fine now uh, we will we can get two location value like this search controller dot text now when we reach here we need to create a constructor so there are uh, we can actually create two types of constructor like uh, we can directly provide flight listing screen and uh, give uh, this dot from location and this dot to location okay and it will ask us to create two fields create field one and create field 2 okay so and uh, this will be our string type so editor directly uh, creates from where type and uh, yeah so constructor is done and these should be final fields because the widget is stateless okay so now what we can do there is another way of creating a constructor we just have to add a curly bracket here so these uh, these uh, two fields become optional fields they are not required fields if they are like uh, required fields they directly go into the uh, correct values in the flight listing screen but if they are optional we have to we have we get this type of error too many positional arguments but to found zero expected so what we need to give uh, this is our from location you can actually write her uh, from location and provide it like this and in the second value you can give to location and provide it like this so it 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 gives you a way of uh, using this type of uh, declaration of constructor it helps you in way that if you are uh, restricting your two location to be uh, some console have three uh, parentheses 
uh, yeah so you can uh, go away with uh, providing only one so but we don't need this so <coughs> we need both the locations from and to so this will work fine now um, this is okay now let's uh, uh, use these from location and to location how you can use we have to provide this and this text with from location and to location so this uh, fields are in flight list top part okay <coughs> so again um, we cannot actually use from location directly here it will not be accessible because it's a different class how you can do then uh, for this <coughs> the single uh, the simple scenario will be to create final listing final list top part constructor and uh, work in a same way like we have worked with these two okay and this is not a good way so let me carry on with this and i will tell you the correct way after uh, writing the wrong way okay so this is the top part and now now you can use from location and similarly you can use to location okay now let's run it from scratch so uh, right now it's boston and new york it's null okay why because um, we have not uh, used this constructor with the values so it works same you have to pass from location uh, by the by this time you could you might have got irritated by uh, seeing same type of constructors first here and second here so uh, you already got an idea that this is not the best practice to uh, go forward okay now you can see the values if I change this value to maybe Las Vegas and uh, this value to New York so as you can see these two values are updated but this is not the right way now I have created a, a diagram for you to explain this so right now a situation is landing here we have a home screen where we have two location and from location then we navigate from this screen to this screen so it's a simple diagram okay so we navigate to first screen uh, to second screen and uh, we pass on our two location from location here then this constructor pass on to uh, this uh, constructor but um, now here comes so this is a redundancy okay you are passing from here here and then here so what we can do is we can use a inherited widget let me take it and inherited widget works in a fashion like this so it wraps around flight listing screen now what you need to do you need to call inherited widget from here okay and uh, yeah. you need to call inherited widget with to location from location and child flight listing screen and there you need not use these things how you can access uh, then to location from location in flight listing screen and in flight uh, list top part so you uh, since you do not uh, need to access it fl in flight listing screen you directly use it in flight list top part how you can do that i will tell you okay so let's head on to our code first of all to create a uh, inherited widget uh, actually it works in a way first uh, let me explain it in more correct way this this is a widget tree one one two three okay so uh, the variables which are declared here should be passed here by a way and 
so we ha we create an inherited widget which actually is a wrapper on this and flight listing screen gets all the values from inherited widget if we need them okay so from location to location can be accessed anywhere down the tree if we are using inherited widget okay so let's uh, write a code uh, let's create a flight listing inherited flight any name can be given here extends uh, inherited widget okay it has a mandatory uh, uh, constructor actually not mandatory constructor but um, a, a method which uh, right now uh, in general purpose should directly return true okay until and unless we need some conditions to modify it and a constructor will be okay inherited um, widget flat listing so this will ha have a this uh, sorry it will have a child so that the super uh, constructor of this can have the child uh, we need child because uh, we are wrapping a widget inside inherited widget because inherited widget is not extending stateless or stateful okay so now um, uh, two variables we need here because uh, we are passing uh, from uh, home screen so we write here now uh, since we uh, we have used these variables and they are final so they need to be initialized so uh, we initialize like this from location that's it and uh, yeah so okay right now um yeah okay um there is a pattern going on right now with the flutter uh, development so we need to create a off method okay which returns our inherited widget inherited flight listing okay the, it returns a, a um, inherited flight listing with uh, so it takes a uh, build context and returns um, uh, a context dot uh, so it has some methods uh, most common method will be inherited inherit from widget of exact type so i will tell you what is the use of this and what it should return it should return this widget right and that's it now um, this uh, is available everywhere down the tree so uh, how we can we can first of all remove this we will not uh, need a, a from location to location and we will not need this so now we are as per the diagram we have removed from location to location from here and as well as from here now we need to work on home screen okay so in home screen there will be error definitely so let's remove this and uh, add a flight okay sorry inherited flight listing this will have uh, sorry again some issues with the formatting so push and say okay okay yeah now our formatting will be fine so we have inherited flight listing our from location will be same as that was with flight listing screen directly okay sorry so again um, location dot selected location index and to location will be our controller dot text now since it's a wrapper so we will have flight listing screen now uh, right now you have seen that there are no construct there are no uh, parameters passed to the constructor they are passed to inherited widget and we go here now how do we access these two variables okay 
so to access these two variables anywhere anywhere in the tree you have to just call suppose you have to use them here in uh, top part so this will be over now you will get an error here okay how you can do it so first uh, you need to get the flight listing inherited widget right. okay okay inherited flight listing dot of context dot from location so like this you will get and uh, so this is the proper way of doing the things using inherited widget same line you can copy and paste it here and use a to location now guys uh, we will run it again from fresh so that you get fair bit idea wh whether it's running or not correctly from scratch so did you get the idea uh, did you get the idea of using inherited widgets please let me know in the comment section below and uh, yeah so it should work anything else left in this mm. no so uh, let's see uh, right now it's it's similar but if we change the location if we do Las Vegas and uh, New York just as, so that all the, both the values are changed we can see so as you can see um, both the values are changed here and inherited widget has reduced our code also it has organized our code in a way that we can uh, be more uh, flexible in using from location and to location anywhere in the tree suppose there is a situation that you need to use uh, another widget below this so this can also uh, directly we can use um, by using uh, inherited widget okay so so simply uh, I, I should not write here because we have already written the code so it's uh, I think it's clear now so the second point in our explanation today will be our uh, fire store which was actually recommended in uh, uh, in the comments that I should uh, also uh, start integrating it with uh, dynamic content using Firestore so um, I already created a database which is actually I already created a project in Firebase yes if you are not aware of Firebase um, I am I'm thinking of uh, doing videos on this but right now the only focus will be to use Firebase database which is uh, of two types first is firebase uh, database real time and second is firebase is uh, fire store so uh, i have already created a database here we have cities uh, mentioned here athens las vegas and sydney okay so these six values are there right and in deals uh, deals will be shown here right now it's a static content so i have uh, already added a collection of deals which ha which is having four documents and documents is again having a collection of fields okay so right now the date format is string just for the simplicity and we have also put locations uh, like three locations so uh, right now as this is a static content so you are seeing only two but uh, when we integrate it with uh, a fire store it will be having three locations right so uh, I think uh, it's time to head on to the code uh, so for uh, configuring with uh, uh, firebase uh, you need to do some you need to follow some steps I should not be telling these steps here because there is a beautiful document written in uh, uh, code labs of Google so you can directly go there I will uh, share the links in the description even I have a uh, done this uh, tutorial by uh, following that article so it's a very seven or ten steps tutorial 
it's very step by step it is for both ios and android okay so i have integrated it for both ios and android so you need to do basically some changes in your build.gradle you need to add 4.2.2.0 google services here and as well as uh, you need to uh, change your module uh, uh, build.gradle with google services so this is a basic change second thing you have to upload your google services in android and uh, for ios it's a different story uh, all through so as i am not an ios developer so i am not aware of uh, how should i explain this so for android i have told you what you have to do now um, let's directly uh, since uh, our flight list dot dart is a, a very uh, recent screen as well as it's uh, uh, more structured and it's more not it's very simple screen so it has only one uh, two widgets basically so we are going to work on bottom part now now for this um, i uh, first of all i will tell you what you need to do in your uh, when your app starts first of all you have to make a connection with firebase okay how you can do that i have actually already written the code so uh, what we will be doing is um, we'll be uh, taking that code and uh, running it so let me first make it in multiple lines because uh, there will be bigger code app applied to this okay um, yeah. so this is the code see this is a basic configuration i will explain you every and uh, each and everything what is needed and where it is needed okay so first of all uh, you need to add uh, let me tell you what are the dependencies that are required so cloud fire store is the dependency that is required which already has core uh, uh, firebase core library included in this okay right now you need only this for connecting with firebase okay now so that uh, now you have to import uh, fire store yeah this file fire uh, cloud fire store and fire store then uh, you have to also import core of firebase by um, okay unused import that is okay we will be using it later now uh, what is the issue here so yeah so a value of type future is returned so firebase options actually uh, returns of uh, let me check so this actually returns a future of it so we have to provide a, a sync here okay so this solves the issue now to use platform specific things uh, okay i will explain you uh, first let me write here future and yeah why it goes inside now, what will happen to this code irrespective of what is happening here inside this code will be executed and once this connection is established by this code our app will start okay it's a very small code it configuration basically it's a just a connection so nothing uh, a query is not fired it's just a connection making it's just like you your app is now eligible to use a platform here so this will work now uh, what's the code here see uh, there are some options that have to be mentioned while we you are making a connection to firebase okay so for ios uh, the options are slightly different for android they are slightly different okay so uh, this google app id how where you can get it i will tell you so basically uh, you when you go into project settings okay so here you get app id so this app id is for android you put it in here okay and same with this app id this is for ios you put it um, in here now for gcm sender id you have to go into cloud messaging and you can actually get okay yeah so this is the sender id that you can get um, yeah so yeah i think it's i think it's not uh, legal to uh, give the api keys like this but i all i believe you guys so and the database url which we can get is from this database you click on database here in firebase and uh, you will get uh, uh, you change this uh, tab 
from firestore to database actually these both the databases are in under same uh, url so this is the url that you need to copy uh, since we are not using firebase real time database so it's null here but it doesn't matter if you write this url it will work for firestore as well okay this is the same url now uh, where we need the data how how we can fetch the data from um, uh, firebase okay so first of all let me show you the screen so here we need to update this list okay so to update that list uh, we need to go to best okay best okay it's not here it's in flight list so best uh, deals okay so this is the list a uh, simple way will be uh, to just avoid this okay let me comment it out and let's start from fresh let's take a stream builder because we will be getting a stream of data from firebase so what will be the stream you have to define it like this how you can get the collection for we need uh, actually this data is flight uh, details so it is actually stored like this it's under deals there are four deals which will be populated here and let me reduce it yeah, so there are four deals first will be american airlines which has this following data so let me get back to the code okay okay so stream will be how you can call the stream fire store okay sorry since uh, we have imported a file store here which is not required right now so we can only call it here import file store okay package yeah. now when we go here it's a stream builder file store What is the issue? Okay, I imported the wrong one. So my bad. Sorry, sorry guys. We need to use this. Yeah. Now it will be file store dot instance dot collection. As you can see here these are collections so we need deals here simply giving path in strings deals and now we need documents so you write here document and actually this um, uh, sorry you actually get a snapshot snapshots so it's collection of query uh, it's a stream of query snapshot uh, I will explain it to you. Uh, it to you how how the further things will be done. So just analyze this stream. Will be get uh, we will get the stream in this format. Now we need to write a builder. Okay, so this will have context and snapshot. So basically, all the snapshots which are uh, which we get here uh, they will be passed to this one by one. Okay now um, inside this uh, you need to actually first of all check whether the snapshot has data or not so you uh, and based on that you build the list okay so uh, until and uh, till then you uh, actually rotate a circular uh, indicator a progress indicator so writing snapshot has data so if it doesn't have uh, okay it's written a widget so circular in progress indicator and if it has so we build a list build deals list that's it and we pass on our context and snapshot just because we will need them okay so I think you got this piece of code but we don't have this method right now so let's create it 
it will result uh, it will return a list so build deals list and yeah build context and this will have document snapshot right so you can see we have actually uh, okay sorry uh, list of document snapshots because uh, we have four documents here okay document snapshots right so uh, are you um, what is the issue here okay um, one second let me check what is the issue this issue is nothing uh, it's like uh, we did I did some hurry so we actually get our uh, data from this and there we get documents okay and these documents is nothing but a list of document snapshots okay so when you get the collection from here when you get the collection you get snapshots then you take uh, snapshot into consideration and get the data from it get all the documents okay so there can be multiple uh, uh, documents here right so that's why uh, it's a list of documents okay a snapshot is nothing but a holder for the data it holds data and uh, data is actually in the form of documents so we get number of documents now we pass this list to our build deals list here we can use list view dot builder okay and we will be having a item builder here but uh, before that we should actually copy the properties that were working for us before so we have copied them here they work fine now for item builder uh, what we will have is the context and the index so every item in the snapshots will be uh, taken under consideration consideration here okay so for that uh, first of all uh, we should also uh, give uh, item count so it will be snapshots dot length so number of snapshots is like actually it's not uh, not a snapshot is now documents so number of documents is length uh, is four okay now uh, inside item builder we should return our flight card okay so flight card uh, let me just uh, explain you again flight card was a stateless widget so we used it uh, because we needed to add a dynamic content here every time and uh, this actually uh, have uh, flight details inside it okay so right now things are static so we will be making them a dynamic first of all so let's make a a normal class of flight details okay which will hold all the values these six values I have already created that so basically I am taking all the values uh, in the uh, class so that we uh, take them together everywhere so it's like encapsulation right so these are the all fields now as you can see here this is old uh, this is new price this is old price so new price and old price are here this is a percentage discount rating is there here and airlines name and date are here and here okay so uh, these two methods i will explain you how they work so basically from here uh, yeah we now uh, we need to actually uh, change our flight card also so it will be taking a fine uh, flight details okay and uh, flight card will have a constructor this dot flight details yeah so it will get initialized now everything uh, we will take from flight details we don't we will not take a, a single single value so uh, let me update them so here it's new price so flight details dot new price 
here it is old play old price so flight details dot old price similarly we have date here so dollar flight details dot okay date are you getting the idea so uh, basically um, we have uh, uh, taken all the single single values into object okay airlines and uh, this will be a rating flight details dot rating last but not least uh, this is the discount so we will take this also flight details dot discount okay fine so um, now uh, now whenever uh, value is provided to flight details uh, this widget will build according to that now how this value will be provided so for that uh, we actually are in item builder we need to uh, give uh, a flight details object to flight card and how we will get the flight details object from from this snapshot okay so we will get one snapshot at a time and we will pass it into flight details from snapshot so this uh, method will be called and it will return a flight details object based on document snapshot that we are passing and we already have a snapshots list so each and every item will be passed here let's just call this i will explain you what this method do okay i will explain you in a moment so flight details flight details dot from a snapshot and we have already snapshots so we will just pass index here okay so i guess um this should work so we just return it here and what is the issue zero expected okay so we need to actually pass in um, okay um so issue is with this since we uh, created a parameterized constructor so it needs this so what I am speaking is this thing we have added it in the curly brackets so it was saying that it need one pair, uh, variable here. and uh, yeah so this should work now what happens when you take a snapshot a snapshot is generally a collection of these things okay so uh, this will have it's a map actually uh, not a map but it's uh, some data type it's uh, it's holding the data okay so uh, since it's holding a map so we need uh, to uh, pass it uh, into the data we need to pass into this method from map and this will actually uh, convert it into map which will have key as a string and a dynamic object at the uh, right hand side why because we have string here string here string here but two integers here so we need dynamic here and now we got the map so map has six entries and assert i will explain you once uh, just leave these lines you just see here airlines date discount old price new price rating are aligned to uh, the uh, we parse from map it's like a json so you have a json here and you get the value from the from passing the key and why we are putting assert here because we don't want airlines to be null we don't want date to be null discount to be null rating to be null okay that's why we are um, actually putting it now i think um, it's uh, ready to run so let's run it yeah we have started from scratch so when i started as you can see the firebase code app with name flight fire store does not exist i don't know what is the issue here some some issues are there in uh, the library but it has uh, definitely tried some connections so this connection has been made we no, didn't, do not need this uh, but we have specified so flight fire store can the name can be given here so connection has been made then the app is started and home screen has been displayed now let's click on search and this is the uh, circular progress bar that was getting uh, rolled uh, definitely that's an issue uh, so what we can do um, you go into flight list and put it under a center widget. 
okay no not like this like this center child yep now let's run it again as you can see okay 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 it's an issue okay okay uh, so it is it is an issue uh, if you hot restart the connection since it's made already there is some state of it and it all always uh, get some error so i will be launching it again uh, let me do it quickly okay so did you get the idea uh, we are passing the data which we get from deals collection we so the connection is made here and uh, we click here and you can see the data right so definitely there was a caching scenario already taken in the consideration so data came very quickly here now let me show you the benefits of Firestone. Okay, suppose uh, it's a uh, deals and it's American Airlines. It's just a name. You can give anything here. So, if I change this string to American, okay, update. Can you see here? American got updated quickly. So this is the benefit of Firestone. And why our app got updated? Because it's using a stream. We are using a stream builder here. So it continuously gets notified whenever there is a data change in this snapshot and when we change airlines american airlines this snapshot got actually updated and because of this uh, deals got updated and american airlines got updated in our app so mm, yeah so uh, just uh, walking through you again uh, to this document we don't need this okay so again running through the document clearly we create a stream take the snapshots from deals which is a collection then that snapshot has some data inside it we check whether the data is null or not if it has data if it doesn't have we load circular progress indicator if it has data we use build deals list and we pass on our snapshot documents inside the snapshot okay so what we are passing here uh, this should be understood very well we pass these four things okay as a list so when we pass here we get a list of document snapshots now we can simply use a uh, dot builder list view dot builder and each and every document under the snapshot all the four out of four uh, will be called here okay so uh, now uh, uh, this this is very crucial since uh, every time um, parsing through the uh, code is not good thing parsing through the JSON file is not good thing uh, so we have created two methods uh, in the constructor so these are named uh, from snapshot and from map from map is used by from a snapshot so basically uh, we have each and every snapshot and what is that a snapshot for flight details this is the snapshot this has some data in map form okay so we first of all read that data and pass it into map from map so it's nothing but parsing from map okay so we map it into a string and dynamic and all the fields are mapped here similarly uh, since i have done this for whole app so i have also done it for this these items as well as for the locations now let me quickly take you through the examples um, quickly very quickly so first we will deal with these three because it also has firebase storage involved in it so for that why what i did i used firebase storage and uh, i have already put three images inside it athens las vegas and sydney okay so you can get the data of these two locations these are public url you just copy it paste it somewhere and you will uh, it's hosted so you directly hit it from anywhere this will work now since these three images are there now we need to make an entry in our firebase store that uh, we need these three images in uh, these uh, cities so the collection is cities here and three cities are there athens las vegas and sydney okay and uh, so Athens is here and uh, we have all these six things image path 
discount city name month year new price old price okay this image part is nothing but what we i have shown you just now so uh, let's do the same stuff here i already have uh, i guess cities data cities uh, constructor so we i think we had a previous city constructor as well so we didn't have i guess so it's a city card oh i think oh, i have missed something so no issues no uh, it's not an issue so we just create city here we we don't need uh, city cards anymore uh, because they are they were static so i, I have created a city object okay uh, this is actually from firestore so we need to import the library and uh, same same it's the same method just the fields are changed same concept apply now uh, just we need to pass a final city here which will replace all the six fields and this will be just this dot city and for common what we did in the previous file so I would not like to confuse confuse you. So that's a city card, and now this list is not needed. Since this list is not needed, so now this is a this is the thing. So it was returning city cards list, which was children in list view. Now, as you know, we have replaced list view with list view dot builder. So let's uh, create a method widget build cities list okay let me uh, yeah quickly go through it context it's purely same method it has not no logic applied here no logic applied here so let me take it from here as well so yeah um, basically uh, yeah so this is the same and you have this list already written from here okay city card will be not here because it will be a builder item count will be same so it's good practice to give count if you already know what is the size of it and now item builder so this item builder is also same okay right okay some issues man it's copy paste issues okay so um since this is not a flight card so it's a city since it's a city and city so I guess it's a city card sorry yeah so uh, this is ready uh, we can remove this and use a stream builder here okay so builder will be something that's not an issue stream we take same file store dot instance dot collection and guys uh, please tell me if i'm really slow because i i uh, i want to make sure that i am explaining things better and no matter how much time it takes but if really you are feeling bored please let me know in the comment section okay uh, actually uh, i have uh, actually given a lot of time to understand the things and uh, make you understand so this is my uh, main motto okay same things will be used here we will return like this only okay now this i will make sure the copy paste mistakes are not repeated so this will be replaced by this yeah so as you can see everything is similar the code is very much similar so this time we are using cities collection we will get three entries now I will okay let me print just for explaining sake um, dollar snapshot 
I have data. So let's run it. Let's stop it and then run it. Yeah, uh, there is an issue actually. I, I forgot to add one more thing image path. So, uh, for, and more things like this because I guess, yeah, nothing is dynamic here. So, since we removed all the fields, so we have to take from city. So, this will be city dot image path. Oh man. Yeah. Let's copy this and paste it again. City name. This is I forgot what was that. Month year. Okay. So month year. Okay, this is a bit tricky. We have percentage discount. Okay, yeah, uh, new price. This will be okay because we are already in single quotes, so it's not an issue here. So we don't need dollar. It will be since it's in bold, so it's a new price, and we need to copy this. So now let's run it. Any errors? No, it's a warning. Let's run it and hope uh, the things are things are working well. Uh, absolutely, they will uh, work well. I have already tested it. So I I, I guess uh, you are getting fair bit idea of Firestore now. So in uh, next episode I will be explaining you. This is not the end of the video. So I will be explaining you uh, things like. Uh, so this is the error. I I know this will come. I will explain you why it is coming. So okay, unable to load asset. Yeah, that's fair issue. So we also I am also thinking to add a block pattern in this application. So basically, let me check. Let me actually correct the issue here. So since it's loading from image dot asset, so we need to change it from image dot network. And uh, yeah, images are here. We run it. Uh, all the things are correct here. But did you see something weird happening? Mm -hmm. Some some weird thing because when images load, they take a fair bit of time. So uh, let me again show you. Stop all. Let's run it. Just hold on uh, because uh, actually there is a fair bit of thing that I want to explain you. Uh, uh, a nice library that has been introduced into uh, the Dart public public publication. So uh, yeah, it's running now. See, can you see? There is a white screen. Our gradient is exposed actually. So what we need to do is we need to use this uh, cached network image okay it has a beautiful uh, fade in and fade out animation so you can provide a curve as well so uh, let's replace our image dot network mm, yeah. let's completely remove it and use um, network image. Is this the one? No, this is not the one. Uh, let me check. So it's actually cached network image. So okay, we need to import it. 
Okay, shit, not clicking it. Okay, what's happening? It did not be imported. Port package. Okay. So cache network image and let's return the widget. Now what it takes image URL which was same as uh, our dollar city dot image path. Okay, fit uh, will be same box fit dot cover. Now comes the magic fade in duration so our duration will be seconds of or milliseconds definitely second is too much milliseconds 500 and fade in duration fade in curve will be curves dot ease in which is very good okay anything else in yeah also uh, there is an error widget, there is a placeholder. So for placeholder, we can use center, child, and circular widget. So this will make our app very uh, user friendly, very uh, UI oriented. And uh, so, same thing uh, we have to do uh, with locations. I think it's a very long video. Let's quickly go through it. Okay. The app will run in background, no issues. So it has run, and as you can see here, it's loading. And there was an animation while it loaded. Yeah. Now uh, let me quickly uh, explain you one more thing, uh, which is very good in Firestore. So when we go to Athens, uh, I I have not explained you that in cities we can actually order by new price okay so when we run it i think it's yeah so again i guess we have to run it again but it will show an error yeah so i will run it again and then i will show you what's the benefit of it so it's running in background yeah it's running in okay i will quickly go through it So this is the thing now you can see two three nine nine two five zero zero these are in ascending order that is good now when we change the value of uh, Athens to two zero zero right now Athens is at last and when we update list updates so not only the values are changing the logic is changing and uh, stream runs again so let's quickly go through the locations uh, it is completely same so uh, let me copy this let me first create a location uh, guys you can I think uh, you can uh, switch off the video uh, because uh, it's uh, just copy paste everywhere and uh, but if you want to see whether uh, the things work for any widget any streams so you can hang on but I will do it in uh, maximum five minutes so we are almost done okay so yeah we have created our location widget now we need a stream so for that we need to search where we have integrated pop-up menu button okay so um, this padding okay let me okay uh, we need uh, something to return pop-up menu item and uh, yeah so let me i will have to explain this uh, because i am doing something uh, new uh, which we have not in in previous example so uh, i had this uh, padding widget here which was actually representing uh, this whole thing so we need to actually build it after the stream has come this thing actually this one only so it has the padding it has size box it has icon of location on and uh, yeah 
and the pop-up menu button so uh, what i uh, what i uh, uh, what i did is uh, when the stream returns so uh, a builder has the values so i actually add locations to our location variable okay how i do it i run a loop uh, i actually i am not uh, that uh, fluent in uh, uh, what i say a dart so there might be definitely a better way to do this i will figure it out and let you know but as of now uh, this is the way so i am taking each and every location which is there in the locations collection so i am taking all these three this only has one and one uh, name variables so directly same location dot from a snapshot and passing in passing in the snapshots dot index here say i basically and uh, this is actually adding the loc uh, getting the locations then adding it into a list which we have uh, here uh, location dot name because location is a location type okay so this locations list which already which earlier had uh, something like this which was hard coded now it's it just has an empty list which will be used uh, when we get the data so once we get the data we update this locations okay and in the add locations then um, if it doesn't then uh, we return so so this if executes and then we return now then we check if it actually it doesn't makes any sense here so let me take it out but uh, sorry it's a single line if so we have to go with it yeah now uh, it return it returns a container when there is uh, no data it returns normal empty thing here other than that it returns pop-up menu button and inside that pop-up menu button uh, we need to update the uh, list here so how we can do this same way since this this is a list so we uh, replace this by creating another uh, uh, I will say we copy this one we will create a method that results as a list of pop-up menu Item. so number of items will be uh, same as number of locations which are there so build so it will take more than uh, less than uh, five minutes now and let's uh, create a list of same type okay pop up menu items it's empty list right now and uh, let's run through the loop now this time we already have locations so we will run through locations uh, and again I am saying that uh, this might not be the optimal way of achieving the things so it's okay. oh sorry so I less than locations now we add uh, our value here so we add this which we copied from above and we optimize the things like this. so this uh, will not hinder anything which is already written and yeah I guess this should be called somewhere here so this complete uh, list will go away and only this will be called so let's run it and let's see what happens similar things we have done three times here but there was some variation to the code and we were not building the widget on the basis of our stream but we were actually uh, adding locations in our locations variable uh, after the stream has resulted so there is some issue uh, yeah so definitely I, I, I am aware of what is the issue so this 
text editing controller will not have any initial value as per the real world scenario as well uh, the text field should not have any value already written the, its users entry which the user will make for the two location okay so uh, yeah so that's it uh, from the video guys if you are liking the content please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel please share it with other people so that they are also aware of Flutter and uh, all the UI things which we have done here so thank you very much for your uh, for your support and for your uh, uh, feedbacks so that's it uh, we'll uh, yeah definitely in the next video we will be actually uh, putting away uh, block uh, implementation so let me just uh, remind you what we will be doing in block so I, I am uh, actually it is from uh, one of the comments that I have come through that uh, block implementation or some state management uh, 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 state management techniques should be applied so as you can see uh, we have done this till now we have achieved these things and uh, definitely in the next video uh, block will be implemented in a in a better way uh, in, in a whatever way uh, we could achieve it in this application right now and everything about blog I will explain in the next video. So thank you guys and that's it.